you know old people, like an old failing faithful dog, you can love them and pet them and do what you can for them in their twilight years, but oh my, like any turd that's been left in the sun too long, they can start to smell pretty ripe. Stick around and learn how you can 3D print a solution to the problem and let them sit in the family room without everyone else passing out. Printable Science presents a 3D printed fart eater. Here's the answer to making old stinky pleasant company again. It's the Printable Science Fart Eater. And it's easy to print, easy to assemble, and easy to use. It does require a couple of non-printed items though. First, You'll need a 60 millimeter computer fan with a USB connector on the end. You can pick up one of these for less than $10 on Amazon or eBay. You'll also need some activated charcoal, which you can get through Amazon or eBay or even your local pet store. Add about $3 for the filament you'll use and you're looking at a total outlay of about $15. Is that too much to pay to make granny tolerable? I don't think so. We printed our fart eater in PLA for a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, two perimeters, three top and bottom layers, and a 20% infill. We printed ours in black, but feel free to change it up however you like. Maybe something to match Granny's outfit. The magic of the fart eater is its built-in filter. All you have to do is pour in some activated charcoal into the base and screw on the lid. Use a gentle shaking motion while you're fastening the lid so to spread out the charcoal evenly. Once you've secured the filter, then rinse it in a bowl of water. That'll wash off any of the charcoal dust and stop the filter from spitting out a cloud of tiny black specks when you first turn it on. Now, it'll take a while to dry, and you can help that along by placing it in a well-ventilated area, but probably best not to dry it in the fart eater itself, as the water may drip out of the filter and onto the fan and cause a short circuit. Putting the fan in the fart eater is easy peasy. First, screw the base into the tube until it's snug, then just drop the cord in down through the cone in the center and route the fan wire through the knockout in the side of the tube. You can then place the fan in the tray and secure it in place by screwing in the retaining ring. Once that's done, you can feed the fan wire through the channel in the bottom of the stand. Those little bumps help to keep the wire in place. To finish your assembly, just take the fart eater grill and drop it into the cap and then screw the filter into the cap. That secures the filter as well as the grill. There you have it. Your fart eater is ready to use, but here's a few things for you to consider. First, the more activated charcoal you use, the greater your fart eater's power, but the less air the system will be able to process. So you may want to experiment a bit and find out what the most effective balance of charcoal and airflow is to combat your particular situation. If you'd like to get a scaled up version of the fart eater, something that could clean up the common room of an old folks house playing a hot and sweaty bingo game, and you're one of our Patreon supporters, drop by our Patreon page and learn how you can get files to support larger and more powerful fans. This fart eater is effective in a small room, and its size was determined by our desire to have a project that can be printed on a printer as small as a mono price mini select. Secondly, use the fart eater with caution. If your favorite old person starts complaining that they're melting away, you're probably exposing them to too much air cleaning power, so you might want to dial back a bit on how long you run it. We hope you enjoy the fart eater and the harmony it restores to your home. But be advised that you can use the fart eater for other things as well. If you've got an old dog that likes to sneak under your chair and let one rip, the fart eater can make quick work of that pesky varmint as well. And if you're from Canada and you've discovered that your friends have stopped dropping by recently, consider whether the cause of their absence is simply because you're stoned all the time and your place reeks to high heaven from all the dope you're smoking now that marijuana is legal on all ten provinces and three territories. Now, you may love the smell, but trust me, it ain't half as bodacious as you think it is. Do yourself and your friends a favor. Make yourself a fart eater to clear that ganja fog from your crib. Thanks for watching. And won't you help by becoming an important part of the Printable Science family and making this channel more valuable and successful? You can help us out by taking the time to watch this video in its entirety and other Printable Science videos as well. Perhaps while your 3D printer is printing off this project. You can leave comments and questions below. That will help us to continue to create useful videos and 3DSTL files that are printer ready 
and allow you to maximize the power and utility of your 3D printer. Your feedback is very important. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button. And if you have just a moment, won't you show your support by clicking the subscribe button below. If you want to make sure you don't miss our upcoming videos on 3D printing, you'll want to click on the notify bell as well. And please, consider supporting Printable Science on Patreon using the link supplied below. You can become one of our Patreon supporters for as little as a dollar a month, and it'll provide you with lots of extras and additional information, as well as going a long way to defray the cost of making these files and videos. Down below, you'll also find a link where you can download a copy of the STL files from Thingiverse so that you can make your own 3D printed fart eater. As always, you can download a copy of the STL files for this and other projects directly from our website. The latest files and a discussion board on the fart eater are available at the printablescience.com website where all the science that fits, we print. <laughs>